dear my students first of all i welcome you to my online class today we are going to learn a new chapter the cherry tree from english junction 7th standard let's go the cherry tree it is a story of cherry tree it is survived a lot of challenges in its life this interesting story was written by ruskin born who is ruskin born just look the picture ruskin born he is an indian author of british descent he was born on may 19 1934 he wrote many books when he was 17 years old he wrote a novel the room on the roof the cherry tree is also a wonderful story of ruskin born he received many awards also sahitya academy award in 1992 and padma shri in 1999 and padma bhushan in 2014 this type of many awards some of them only this one so many other award also he received let's go to the chapter here the cherry tree let's move on main character of the story is rakesh rakesh lives with his grandfather he has father and mother but he lives in with his grandfather in Missouri his parents live 50 miles away there were no school that is why rakesh lives with the grandfather in Missouri one day one incident happened what happened one day when he was 7 years old he walked home from mzori bazaar mzori bazaar eating cherries eating eating cherry fruit he was walking there by the time he went to there are three cherries left in his hand only three cherries he asked the grandfather have a cherry dada dada he calls his grandfather dad have a chori dad rakesh said azunas he saw his grandfather then grandfather took a single one chori and other two he allowed he ate after that the last seed of chori he kept his mouth for a long time for a long time that means that was the last one so he tasted or kept in his mouth for a long time after that he put that and keep in his palm and later he ragged asked grandfather what he asked me are cherry tree cherry seeds lucky are cherry seeds lucky grandfather replied oh sure of course but of course but nothing is like lucky if you put it here if you put there it is not like if you want like you must put it to some use you must use the seed then it will be like what can i do Rakesh asked, "What can I do?" Grandfather replied, "Just a plant it, plant it." Then Rakesh went to the garden and he saw a pot there. He just made there dig there. At that time, grandfather told him, "Not there. I already saw the mustard there. I already saw the mustard." Not there. We just go there. That shady corner. And he went there. 
That is pressed with his thumb that seed into the soil. He sowed that one. That seed. He forgot that things. That is a usual incident. Just he forgot. Then time goes. When it was winter season, in that hill, a cold wind blew down from mountains. Cold wind came that winter season. Grandfather continued his story. He told many stories to Rajesh. He listened to old stories. Then spring season came. When wild ducks flew north again to Siberia, there from Siberia many ducks came. One, one morning in the garden that the child continued. One morning in the garden when he when when the Rakesh bent. He saw a chick there. At that time, he wanted to put it away. So he just looked. He saw a small chick there. He found that it was well rooted. Then he, when he looked, it was well rooted. He ran to fetch grandfather. He just ran to fetch. That means to bring grandfather. Call him, Dada, Dada. He called. Come. Come Dada, look, come on look, the cherry tree has come up, our cherry tree just made new leaves. Grandfather Rachel Day, they too observed, yes it is, it was cherry tree, yes it is cherry tree. Grandfather Joy. then grandfather once again told him, you just walk it. The Agesh went there and he brought a bucket of water. And that day, uh, in a smiling face, grandfather told him, don't kill it. You just water it. So, Ragesh sprinkled some water into that small plant of cherry tree. Sprinkled and he circled with bubbles. Grandfather asked, Why? Why you are circled? Ragesh told him, For privacy. For privacy, I made it. That year, monsoon came early, monsoon season came early, the cherry tree grew to kill it. It came new leaves, then it was about two feet high now, two feet, two feet high. That means it will go very quickly. At that time, a goat entered, a goat entered the garden. Goat has a habit, it will eat anything. Goat entered the garden and ate all leaves. Just reminder, a main stem and two small ticks. All leaves got age. Ragesh was very upset. Grandfather told him, never mind. It will grow again. Cherry trees are tough. It never died. So, just never mind. It will grow again. Grandfather told at the end of the rainy season that rainy season continued and I think time new leaves appeared I mean so only the goat ate all leaves then new leaves appeared on the tree then at that time a woman cutting grasses woman's duty is cutting the grasses she came down the hillside and accidentally she cut with her tools, she cut into two. Cherry tree was in two pieces. Oh, grandfather saw that. He was angry and scolded her. And that lady went away.
but damage never be repaired marriage will die the against sir the against i was upset it will die surely but charity had no intention for die charity never die summer came again time passed summer came again rajesh was eight years now charity sent out many new leaves then the visitors also came to charity the first visit who is was this a bright green praying mantis that is a green insect that came that was the first visit that to charity and then a hairy cattle caterpillar came to the leaves of charity the agent just removed it caterpillar and the winter came early that year the charity bent the row with the snow it has many leaves then at that time because of snow it will bend the low then february came february month that is the agent's birthday month he was mayor now Two years. Now he was my three was at the three. Three was at the three third year. Three was now there is a difference. Rajesh was my three was three, but. Three. The tree as tall as the agate now. The agate as tall as the agate now. Then one morning, father came there. He saw a pale pink blossom. A pale pink flower. He saw that a cherry tree flower blossom at the end of the branch. At the end of the branch, he saw what that was. The following year, that means the next year, more blossoms, so many blossoms are there. So many insect and a small insect came, but always cherry tree kept blossoms. That summer, there were so many cherry fruit there. There's so many trees there. Rajesh just took one and tasted, then spat it, spat it, spat it. It was too so sore. Rajesh said to grandfather, "It was too sore. It will be better next year." Grandfather replied, "It will be better. Taste will be good next year." Then a few days later. On one sunny afternoon, Rajesh went to the garden, went to the garden there, and just lay down on the grass under the tree. And just he looked into the sky through the leaves. He waited there, stars up to stars come in the sky. Grandfather also preached there. At that time, he asked Grandfather, "There are many trees in this forest. In the forest, why do we like this tree, this cherry tree so much? Why do we like this cherry tree so much?" Grandfather replied that we planted it ourselves. That is the reason. We planted it. This is our work tree. We planted it. That is the name of our grandfather. Rajesh just touched the bark, bark means uh, open part of bark, bark of bark of the tree. Just one seed. 
I wonder, is just it was just one seed. I wonder, is this what it feels like to be poor? He whispered. This is the end of the story. That means from the starting, Rajesh ate a fruit of cherry. He planted that seed into the soil. It grew and two times one got and a woman destroyed, but it grew again. He that tree faced all challenges in its life and now it became a big tree. This is the story of Chori tree. This story says us, we also want to face all difficulties in our life, then only we will success in our life. I hope you all understood the story of Chori tree. If you have any doubt, please contact me personally. Thank you. Have a nice day.